All right, guys. This is what we're dealing with. Everybody kept saying, you know, oh, uh, you're not getting that much rain. Guess what? You see how tall my grass is? I'm gonna come back and get some more tomatoes. More tomatoes over there. <sighs> Gotta feed my chickens. Y'all see all this? Every day, rain, rain, rain. I have emptied, oh Lord, I'm not gonna get in here. Yeah. Let me show you guys. My chickens are in water. Good morning, ladies. I know. Let me see if I can get over here. Come here, babies. Come on. Again. Oh, man. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something. All right, y'all remember all my compost I had over here? Well, come find out. There's pumpkins, okay? That's where I had my pumpkins. I found out something. I'll go into detail in a minute. Let me show y'all these sunflowers. Corn. I gotta get tomatoes. Mikey. All right. Let me get here. See if I can get in here. hard let me get in here let me show you guys more tomatoes let me see if I can get you guys in here with me wade would do water here's where they fix that so some of the water drain Um, let me show you guys, look. You see all the water? This is what we're dealing with. Alright. Let me grab all these tomatoes. Big water. Yeah, I know. This mug's getting white. Nothing I can do. Start turning pink. For red. You better grab. Birds gonna get them. <laughs> and finish turning. Okay. I need to pick up. 
much money to get black and no I'm gonna wind up having to pull them up. Scoot them up. Woo! Yeah, right here. Tomatoes on the other side. you guys in a minute. We gotta go give some of these to the chickens. They're not good. Oh man. Hey girls. Y'all want some tomatoes that's got worms on them? Wade in the water. Hold on. I think that's it. So here's our harvest for today. I'm gonna show you guys in here. Wait the water. Ah. 
The oak grade is taller than me. All right. Show you guys. Look at the cucumelons. There. We got a bunch of baby ones. That's the cucumbers. I have some cucumbers down here getting big. And then we got the yard long beans. And let me show you. These are the house tools. Sunflowers, they're drying. The white sunflowers. <sighs> okay. Look at my corn. This is the peaches and cream. Oh, Lord. <sighs> I wanted to get over here and show you guys. <sighs> the sunflowers. I got some variegated ones. Let me show you that. <sighs> kind of be careful. Look at here. Tell me that's not beautiful. Beautiful. I love the sunflowers. All right. Let me show y'all all these flowers that I planted. Look. You see that? Look at here. I mean, they're just beautiful. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys something. So in case you guys have the same problem. All right, see how my okra, I mean my squash is? All right, I'm going to tell you why. You see how my pumpkin here is? One part of this pumpkin, I didn't put compost. The rest of it, I did. And guess what? I took and put some of the compost that I had for my chickens. If you guys remember. Um, I had put hay inside of my chicken coop chicken run well everywhere i used the um the compost from my pile either my plants wilted they kind of disformed the leaves were curling they just did not look good at all okay so i done my homework found out something the hay that I used had pesticides in it so Mike can you take these and you guys thanks for the prayers for my son he's doing a little better um, but the pesticide was in my hay so Everywhere I used my compost, I had a problem. So officially, the compost pile won't be used anymore. I gotta clean out my chicken coop, my chicken run, and uh, I will not be using um, my compost. I've heard some place, some people told me that it could probably take anywhere from um, a couple years up to five years to get it out of that soil. Um, so I done some research and <clears throat> my chicken run and my chicken coop is supposed to be moved and all of that compost that's in the chicken run and chickens coop I'm gonna spread that out to kind of level um, that area over there and keep my chickens away from it let me show you guys there's a hummingbird it was after the beautiful flower it is beautiful but um just letting you guys know that um be careful about where you get your hay. Be careful about where you get your compost. 
um, because they're putting chemicals in it and we wind up paying the price when we put it in our garden beds and I had another youtuber was telling me you know um, where did you buy your hay well I won't mention that store I won't be buying it there anymore um, but just your local um, supply store um, so I have left that alone that's over there and everywhere in the chicken run and chicken coop um, we're gonna move that and I'm just gonna spread it out they say if you spread it out um, it will get a little bit better over time a little bit quicker um, and make sure that I don't use that manure compost so I'm gonna leave you guys with uh, a little um, beautiful picture of this pictures of the sunflowers God bless stay safe and remember guys pray for all of us down here because this water is just ridiculous um, as you guys can probably see we got more storms coming all this week let me show you guys And if you have not subscribed, please do so. And remember, guys, God loves you. I love you. Stay safe. Stay positive. Don't let nobody dictate your mood. Pray for them. And God will answer. I was going to get over there and show y'all all the blooms and the okra, but um, I can't get in there. So... Hope you guys kind of see. I know. Don't judge me. With all this water, I cannot mow. God bless you all. Stay safe. And she's doing fine. Love y'all.